Hey guys, do you have a radon problem? Well, I'll tell you what, I do. And I don't wanna pay $2,500 to get the gas out of the basement. So I did a lot of research on what it took to put this in on, on my own, uh, DIY style. And I'll tell you right now, it's not very complicated. Some basic tools, some PVC pipe, and a few pieces I got from Amazon, and you have a system. It's not hard, I promise you. Stay tuned, I'm gonna talk you through everything you need to put your own system in. What you're looking at here is called a cross-section drawing of my house, all right? And here I've drawn the sub pump pit. Um, the idea is that I'm gonna hook up to the sub pump pit with the three inch pipe, and I'm gonna run that pipe all the way out my foundation wall like this. Okay, I'm gonna drill the hole through the foundation wall. This is three inch uh, PVC pipe. Run it straight out, and then uh, I'm gonna go up to where my fan is gonna be located. My fan is here. It's a little bit out of scale. Uh, the fan is here. And then I'm gonna run the pipe back to the, the, the side of the house, like this. I'm gonna put a T in right here. And the reason why I'm putting a T is because I'm gonna put a vent, um, an actual vent line, so I can dr a drain, a, a insulated drain line from the bottom of the T all the way back into here. So then any perspiration or water that gathers in the pipe can drain back into the main pipe and then back into, my case, the, the sub pump hole uh, and prevent going into the, um, the fan. So the T, and then I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go around my soffit, and then I'm gonna go back up like this, and I'm gonna go up roughly two feet above my, my um, lowest roof line and making sure that I'm not within 10 feet of any windows, okay? And then I'll put a little a vent cap on here. Now for mine, since it's the middle of the winter right now, I'm not running it all the way up right now, but I will run it all the way up in the spring. Okay, the first set of parts we have, uh, you know, more or less some three inch elbows. And then I use these uh, offsets, 22 and a halfs, uh, T's, brackets to attach everything to uh, the wall. Um, I'm gonna pop a cap on the top so we don't get too much water in there. A Fernco boot. Um, this is gonna be used uh, next to the uh, sub pump. So I can, if I ever have to pull the lid off, I can just unscrew the system. Some foam. And then the radon system, which is nothing more than really the pump. Uh, it comes with two Fernco boots uh, and it comes with a whip uh, and a pressure gauge. Now I bought this on Amazon. There's a few different levels, but I will have this in the show notes. And then of course we have just the regular old three inch pipe. Nothing too crazy here. I got a couple sticks of it. It'll just depend on how many pieces you need for your project. So the reason why it's really great to tie into uh, the sub pump hole, drainage tubes around the perimeter of your foundation typically will come into your sub pump hole. So those are right in a key place to be able to remove the radon. It's underneath the concrete. In my case, it's underneath the plastic and it goes around the entire perimeter of the house. So it's a suction tube for radon. Okay, so you can see a couple things on this lid. Um, first off, it has a window, which I really like. Uh, second off, it's got a threaded insert for a three inch fitting that we're gonna use for our radon tube. And this is our first spot. We're gonna be coming out of this. Um, third, it's also got a great spot for your ejection um, of your uh, sub pump and your wire. I'm gonna take my pipe up, go out, and then I'm gonna send it straight all the way down that wall through all of that stuff, <laughs> out that wall up right over there. And that's where I'm gonna go out uh, of my foundation and ultimately up. So that's the path, that's the cover. Next step, let's put a hole in the, in the foundation wall. Well, that pretty much does it. I got the hole now through the actual concrete wall um, and it'll be going into the basement. Eventually be coming out of here, the pipe will be coming out of here and out and up. Next step, let's get the pipe put through. What I want to try to do here is just sort of, you know, game plan this all. So I've got my uh, my fan here. Make sure you go the right direction up. And then all I'm going to do is start to kind of figure out where I want it to go up at and how do I get the pipe to this spot. <laughs> so that's the next step here. Okay, so I'm going to come straight up and out. So what I do is I, I'm going to take this, kind of look at where my pipe is where I want everything to kind of land. 
and then I'm gonna come in here and mark this. Now a second person here is not gonna hurt you. <laughs> Okay, I'm cutting the pipe off here. You know, keep in mind you can cut that however you choose. Um, and now I'm just dry fitting uh, the assembly. Uh, you can tell I, I pulled out the screwdriver. Those just simply screw right on. Next thing is pull it all apart and start gluing it together. And finally, all you do is you pop that fan on with screwdriver, you screw it together. Okay guys, if you're not a qualified electrician, you should definitely uh, probably have an electrician that, or at least somebody that's handy with electrical do this, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, basically the black goes to black, white goes to the white, green goes to the green. So I'm not an electrician, but that's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just wire knot it together, uh, and then pop the included cap like that. Okay guys, last step. Um, got the electrical tightened down. Um, like I said, I'm gonna run this pipe all the way up eventually. But for right now, I'm just going to here. Uh, and then I'm just gonna tie this to the, to the house like this. Pretty much, uh, that's pretty much the system. I'll okay guys, so now I have this rough fit and I really recommend doing this where you kind of go in you figure out where your pipes are. I've roughed them in, right? They're not glued yet. So I've glued together my bits and pieces uh, to, to make my angle. You're gonna snake it up in, in different configurations depending on where you're in your house, you know, where it's set up. But once you have it like this, uh, what I like to do is I come in and I'll put a mark that lines up with each piece like this. So that way, when I go to glue it all, I know what angle it needs to do. It needs to work with, right? So now I can pull that back apart. And I also, a lot of times we'll do one, two, uh, three, four, five. And that way I know the angle and I know where it goes in the, in the snake and then I can just glue it together. Okay, so now the pipe is coming from the wall. I've got it going all the way out and it's right here. Um, so my next step is going into this fitting down into the tank. So I normally start when I'm putting together these pieces, I think about, I think about which piece I can adjust, right? So this piece I can move a lot of back and forth this way. If I glued this on first, then I'd have to fit a weird piece in there. So you're always thinking about which piece in order will make this work a little bit better. You have to stop and think about it. Uh, I'm sure there's some rules of the trade here, but you know, I'm DIY. I'm, I, I've done some plumbing in my life, but not a ton. But this is, this is one thing I really think through is just the order that I put all of it together. So now with the Fernco boot, I should be able to come on here, slip that guy on. So I know where that's going to sit. Um, and then my next connection is from here to here. Okay guys. So now I'm actually connected. I'm connected from here all the way outside. Um, now, in some, play, in, in some situations, you may have to go outside and up or interior and up through the attic. It just depends on your house. So my house, fairly straightforward. I'm going to go up on the outside, but um, sometimes it just really, you have to figure out the best way to route it. The easiest thing is to route it straight out. Um, but remember, you have to go up. It has to be above the tallest roof to make sure the radon doesn't get into other you know, doors, windows, all of those things. So it's really important to kind of uh, more or less uh, track it through your home. But uh, at the end of the day, it's a simple, simple pipe that goes from here all the way up and out. No matter what, it's just a, it's a PVC pipe going from this point out. My final step is going back in with some spray foam and sealing off the holes that I made. So any holes that you made in your house or in the exterior, I caulked the outside and here I'm going to foam the inside. You want to make sure that you're sealed up tight. Okay, guys, so my final step on my crawl space slash basement is I've got this white plastic and I'm gonna seal this piece all the way around and make sure this is airtight because this is putting a vacuum into the uh, underneath this plastic. So I'm trying to, um, I just wanna seal it off nice and tight. Now, if you have a slab and you're going straight into that slab, you won't have to do this. You just go down into the slab, the pea gravel, that should be enough to pull it up and out of the um, the system. My case, I'm in the into the um, sub pump 
I just want to make sure this is sealed. If you have concrete, you're not going to have an issue like this, but for me, uh, it's an important thing. Okay, now I've been, I've had the uh, system on for about a day, and I'm going to take a look at this. All right, yeah, look at that. We're at 1.08 uh, long term and 1.24. Now, this has only been one day. My bet is it's going to keep going down. Um, so you can see I kind of have the system, everything put back in place. The system is uh, hooked in, pretty pretty subtle. You know, goes down and through and out my wall there. Um, couldn't be happier.